Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about line plots. A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. You mostly use a line plot when you have less than 25 numbers. So when you see the plots today, you're going to see that we are going to be using fractions. You'll see 0, 1, 2, and then equal parts in between. Those equal parts are where our fractions will have to go. I'm going to show you how to figure out what the fractions will be and then how to find our greatest and our smallest numbers on the line plot. And then we are going to be finding the difference. Remember that when we see the word difference in a word problem, most of the time that means that we are going to subtract. Let's get started. The line plot below shows the size in inches of several different frog species. So it's important in this problem that I know that we're working in inches. What is the difference in size between the shortest species and longest species of frog? So I'm going to box the word difference and also I'm going to pull out the words that are, help me find the numbers I'm looking for. So even though this is a question and our cubes normally tell us to underline the whole question, that would mean underlining this whole sentence and I wouldn't find those important pieces. So I'm going to underline the two words that help me find the numbers I'm looking for. Shortest and longest. So now I can look at my line plot. And I see that we have spaces in between our whole numbers and they're equal spaces, so I know I have to plug in some fractions there. So I'm going to find the fraction by counting the equal spaces in between each whole number. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's four equal spaces, so I know I am working in fourths. So now I'm going to label 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths would be equal to our two wholes. And then I would start over. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths would be 3 wholes. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths would be our whole number four. So now I'm going to look for our shortest number. Now I'm looking for the smallest number with an X over it. And on this line plot it would be one. So this is telling us that there's one frog that's one inch long. Then I'm going to try to find the longest. And if I look on my line plot, the biggest number we have is a whole number four, but there's no X over it. So there's no frog that's four inches long, and I'm looking for the longest species of frog, so there has to be an X. So it's actually this number right here. What's important to know and to note is that this fraction is not just three-fourths. 3 fourths by itself would be less than 1. It would be way over here. 3 fourths has to have this whole number 3 in front of it. So when we read these numbers, it would be 3 and 1 fourth, 3 and 2 fourths, 3 and 3 fourths. So now I can set up my problem. I know I have to find the difference, so I know I'm subtracting. So I need to use this bigger number first. 3 and 3 fourths minus 1. I'm going to subtract my fractions first. The whole number 1 doesn't have anything, so that's, a, that's like a 0. So 3 fourths minus 0 will still be 3 fourths. And now if I subtract my whole numbers, 3 minus 1 is 2. So the difference in size between the shortest species and the longest species a frog is two and three fourths inches. Let's do one more. The line plot shows the length in feet of the girl's hair in Mr. Wood's class. So in this problem, it's important to know that we're working in feet. What is the difference in length between the girls with the shortest and longest hair? Again, my 
um, the word that's going to tell me what to do is difference. So I'm going to box that, box the action word. It's going to tell me I'm going to subtract. And the two important words to help me find the numbers I'm going to use is shortest and longest. So again, I'm going to count my equal spaces in between my whole numbers to find the fraction. So I have one equal space and two equal spaces. So I'm just going to be working in halves. So when I label, I will have one half and one half. So I'm looking for the shortest hair. So if I look at the numbers on my line plot, the smallest number with an X is one. And this is telling me that there are one, two, three girls in Mr. Wood's class with one, um, with hair that's one foot long. So I found the shortest. Now I need to find the longest. The biggest number on my line plot is three, but there is there are no girls with three feet of hair in Mr. Wood's class. So I need to find the biggest number with X's, and that's two and one half. Remember, we only see one half, but it this whole number two goes with it, because when we read these numbers, it's one, one and one half, two, two and one half, three. So there are one, two, three, four girls in Mr. Wood's class that have hair that's two and a half feet long. And so I need to find the difference between those two, so I'm subtracting. So I need to make sure that I use the biggest number first, two and one half, and then take away one. Start subtracting with the fractions. One and a half minus zero, there are no fractions with the whole number one. So one and a half minus zero is still one half. And then if we subtract the whole numbers, two minus one is one. The difference in length between the girls with the shortest and longer hair is one and a half feet.